peoples of booktube and welcome 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 to another updated bookshelf tour this time it's going to be split into sections you're going to have my review bookshelf and then it's going to be some boxes under my bed that is included with my hardback books cupboard and then obviously this cupboard and then everything that is downstairs i've got some boxes of series i have got my red books and i've got my adult books and children's books but there's going to be so many and this time i'm going to separate the videos because i have obviously gained more books since the last time as well but yay so in this video you are going to be seeing all of my books that i have actually read and also I am going to include my review bookshelf so that is going to be in this one in the next video it's going to be the boxes under my bed as well as my hardback books and then after that it's going to be my special bookshelf along with my book cupboard and then after that it's going to be my series box along with my adult and children's books so let's get started now with my red books i'm not going to go into too much detail because I have already read them, you have seen them in wrap ups, so I'm just going to pan over the footage and the first one you will see is a bookshelf that is in my room and this contains the standalone books, all the books in the series I haven't purchased the next book to and as soon as I purchase the next book they will go downstairs along with my other series. The bookshelf that you can see right now is the one that I keep downstairs in study this contains all of my red books in a series so if I've read a book in a series that I do really enjoy and decide to keep they will go in this bookshop obviously if I don't enjoy it then I give it away to charity or do a giveaway for it <laughs> Elias by Tracy Alexander Goddess by Josephine Angelini The Diviners by Libba Bray All the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry The Finisher by David Baldacci Burn by Juliana Baggett This is book number three in the Pure Trilogy Lottery Boy by Michael Byrne I Predict a Riot by Catherine Bruton Don't Tell the Groom by Annabelle The Ultimate Truth by Kevin Brooks The Test In by Joelle Charbonneau The School for Good and Evil A Well Without Princes This is book number two in the series by Saman Chainani. Cracked by Eliza Crew. This is book number one in the Soul Eater series. Pawn by Amy Carter. Conquest by John Connolly and Jennifer Rudyard. This is book number one in the Chronicles of the Invader series. Dying to Know You by Aidan Chambers. Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Resist by Sarah Crossan. And this is book number two in the Breathe duology. Broken by Marianne Curley. This is book number two that's in this series. Frozen by Melissa de la Cruz and Michael Johnston. Then I have Reason to Breathe, Barely Breathing and Out of Breath by Rebecca Donovan in this emotional series. After Eden by Helen Douglas. If I Could Turn Back Time by Nicola Doherty. The Eye of Minds by James Dashner. Mila 2.0 Renegade by Deborah Dreiser. And finishing off this shelf with All of the Above by James Dawson. We now move to the second shelf down, starting off with Better Than Perfect by Simone Okolos. 
Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen, The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen, What If by Rebecca Donovan, Lorelei by Laura Dogtrell, The Spooks Apprentice by Joseph Delaney, Rogue Wave by Jennifer Donnelly, this is the second book that's in the Waterfire Saga, The Essence by Kimberly Dirting, this is the second book that's in the Pledge Trilogy, Promtastic by Liz Elwes, Dusk by Eve Edwards, Earth Star by Janet Edwards, this is the second book that's in the series, Star 4 by W.A. Fulkerson, Messenger of Fear by Michael Grant, The Skull in the Wood by Sandra Greaves, Lullaby by Amanda Hocking, The Almost Girl by Emily Howard, Anything to Have You by Paige Harbison, Soul Storm by Kate Harrison, Hot Blooded by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigue, this is their second book that's in the Wall Springs Chronicle series, Elegy and Tidal both by Amanda Hocking, The Name Name on Your Wrist by Helen Heorns, Echo Boy by Matt Haig, Paperweight by Meg Haston, Seed by Lisa Heathfield, Unhinged by A.G. Howard, A Breath of Frost and Was for the Dead both by Alexandra Harvey, The Hunted by C.J. Hart, The Bell Between Worlds by Ian Johnstone, Sleeping Angel by Mia James. And this concludes the second shelf. Now we're on the third shelf down and these are my hardback books and I sort of started putting them and their own alphabetical shelf. So first of all the two books that are on top I have Concentrate by William Sutcliffe and The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz and these are my latest hardbacks. I also have my tall paperbacks here including this one which is The Waking Dreamer by J.E. Alexander. Time Bomb by Scott K. Andrews. Skin by Ilka Tampke. Coco Caramel by Kathy Cassidy. Bird by Crystal Chan, Ghost Hawk by Susan Cooper, Light and Dark The Awakening of the Mage Knight by D.M. Fife, Looking for Alaska The 10th Anniversary Edition by John Green, The Queen of Dreams by Peter Hamilton, Wall Springs Chronicles Unleashed and a Savage both by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigue. This is book one and three of this series. Listening for Luca by Suzanne Lafleur, The Tragedy Paper by Elizabeth Laban, The Arrivals by Melissa Mark, The Falconer by Elizabeth May, Running Girl by Simon Mason, Three Amazing Things About You by Jill Mansell, Rosniel, The Laws of Magic and The End of the Universe and these are both by Nana Vati Bastian. Hurt by Tabitha Suzuma, Yoshiko and the Gift of Charms by Julia Suzuki, Anatomy of a Single Girl, by Darius Nadalski, Pathfinder by Angie Sage, She Is Not Invisible by Marcus Sedgwick, Finally on the Shelf is Arcadia by James Treadwell. And now we are down to the fourth shelf. First of all we begin with The Next Together by Lauren James, Wild Boy by Rob Lloyd Jones, Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor, Troll Hunters by Guillermo del Toro and Daniel Kraus, Vortex and Insignia both by S.J. Kincaid, How To Be Bad by E. Lockhart, Laura Miracle and Sarah Milnowski, Boy Meets Boy by David Leverton, Sophie Someone by Hayley Long, The League of Sharks by David Logan, There Will Be Lies by Nick Lake, Are We There Yet by David Leverton, Sky on Fire by Emmy Laybourne, Witch Struck and Witch Fool both by Victoria Lamb, This Raging Light by Estelle Law. Fracture and Vengeance both by Megan Miranda, The Vault by Emily McKay, Homecoming by Cass Morgan, this is book number three in the 100 series, it's awesome. Made For You by Melissa Ma, Angel Dust by Sarah Moosey, Death and Co by DJ McCoon, Sun Kissed by Jenny McLachlan, The Beautiful and the Cursed, The Lovely and the Lost and The Wondrous and the Wicked all by Paige Morgan, The Big Lie by Julie Mayhew, Frail Human Heart by Zoe Merritt, this is book number three in the series, Red Ink by Julie Mayhew, and the last book on the shelf is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas, and this is the fourth book that is in Through in a Glass series. We are now second from bottom shelf now and my camera is currently stacked on some books as well as some DVDs because my tripod cannot go that low. So let's begin with the book on the left. If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. An Island of Her Own by Sally Nichols. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Mystic by Alison Noel. I'll Give You the Sun and the Sky is Everywhere, both by Yandy Nelson. Off the Page by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leeuw. Acid by Emma Pass. Sleep No More by April and Pike. Trouble by Non Pratt. Starters and Enders by Lisa Price. Slow Twitch, Junk Miles and Double Clutch, all by Liz Reinhardt. Night Blade by Garrett Robinson. The Kissing Booth and Rolling Dice, both by Beth Rickles. Somewhere by John Robinson. Almost Grace by Rosie Rowell. 
Outcast by Ellen Runner. Winger and Standoff both by Andrew Smith. The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. The Black Thorn Key by Kevin Sands. Counting Stars by Kara Stainton. Almost Demon by AJ Salem. And finally Pretty Deadly and Pretty Lethal both by Joe Schreiber. And that concludes this shelf. And now we're on the final shelf of my review bookshelf which actually contains the most books because I sort of pile them at the bottom so these are all the last few books that go after the letter S and there are some mixed up books at the end as well because they haven't been sorted yet because they are fairly new to the collection. So first of all I will continue on with the alphabetical order and go next with Icons by Margaret Stoll. Then we've got The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. Fever by Dee Shulman. Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Me, Susie P. by Karen Saunders. The Good Girls by Sarah Shepard. Liberty's Fire by Lydia Sison. Boo by Neil Smith. Anatomy of a Boyfriend by Darius Nadelsky. Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone. Amber by Julie Sykes. The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. As White as Snow by Sala Simuka. The Alex Crow by Andrew Smith. Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott. Forever Now by Elise Sachs. Lily in the Snow by Christine E. Schultz. The Silent Deal by Levi Stack and Amber in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir Nobody Saw No One by Steve Tassain Shattered by Terry Terry Kyle Damore and the Timekeeper's Key by Samuel J. Vega That Dark Remembered Day by Tom Fowler Birdie by Jess Valance Imposter and Defector by Suzanne Winokur Between the Lines and Here Without You by Tamara Weber The Finding by our very own M.E. Walker who is a booktuber Black Dove, White Raven, White Elizabeth Wayne Pilar A. Memoir by Maya Van Wagenen The Drowning by Rachel Ward Witch Finder and Witch Hunt both by Ruth Warburton Suicide Note from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Weingarten Burn by Paula Weston Atom and Eve by Jeff Yeager All these things I've done and Because It Is My Blood both by Gabrielle Zevin And the last but not least Roomies by Sarazar and Tara Altibrando And the final books are the ones that have yet to be sorted into alphabetical order I have Sleepless by Lou Morgan Gypsy Girl by Catherine James Long Reach and Body Blow both by Peter Cox Monkey Wars and Maladapted both by Richard Curti Hour of the Bees by Lindsay Agar 20 Questions for Glory by Martin Bedford and finally The Dark Days Club by Alison Good and that concludes the bottom shelf So guys that is the end of this video I hope you have enjoyed it Like I say next video is going to contain the boxes of books that are underneath my bed as well as my cupboard of hardback books Stay tuned for that, that will be up pretty damn soon and eventually when all of the videos are up I'm going to have annotations of all of the videos on the bottom of the screen so you can click on those and revert to the video that you want to see next. All in all I hope you have enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you have, if you've read any these books or if you'd like me to read any of these books please do let me know down in the comments below but I hope you have enjoyed it and keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you people in my next video. Bye!